The final round of the FIA European Track Racing Championship was at Le Mans, the home of the famous 24-hour race, and always a popular place with the fans for track racing. The paddock was a very busy place for young and old, with radio-controlled drift cars, for example, along with the ever-popular autograph session and a chance to meet the drivers. Jochen Hahn comes to Le Mans as the championship leader, 35 points ahead of his nearest rival. Adam Lashko is the man chasing him. He's second and needs wins this weekend. Also the centre of attention is Anthony Chayek, a Frenchman, the only French driver in the entry, a real local hero. There were fireworks overhead and fireworks on the track as well, with a huge number of fans ready to watch race one. Jochen Hahn started on pole position, his eighth of the year, with Norbert Kish alongside. Adam Lasko got a good start up the inside from fourth on the grid as they ran towards the Dunlop S's where there was contact. Lasko was forced out wide and Shane Brereton gained places in all the drama. For the lead, Kish was on the inside of Hahn as they ran side by side around turn four. Kish just got his truck ahead, but Hahn found a way through into the lead by the end of the lap as Lashko got himself up on the inside of Brereton for third place. On board with Anthony Janek, there was contact, he got involved with Gert Korba. Up front, Hahn pulled away, he was on target for his 99th career win and also to win the championship. With Lashko only third, that was enough to give Hahn his fourth title. There were celebrations and congratulations from the rest of the Hahn team. Race two, with the reversal of the top eight finishers, was a very rowdy affair. Alan Law led to the first corner, chased hard by Sasha Lentz with Steffi Halm squeezing through on the inside. But towards the end of the lap, Janiek barged into the side of Sasha Lentz. He spun and Alan Law got caught up in the melee. Out came the red flags. Two trucks stuck in the gravel and a restart. But on the restart, Lasko didn't go anywhere. There was mayhem behind him, Jan Hemming in the wall, Frankie Wojciech riding up onto the back of Irving klein Nagelvort's truck. Not surprisingly, the red flags flew once again. The third start came exactly one hour after the first start. René Reinert ran on the tail of Anthony Janek as they worked their way out of the Dunlop S's, but Steffi Halm found a way through the team patron and took second place. Jochen Hahn ran fourth in the fading light as Steffi Halm attacked Janek for the race lead. She couldn't find a way through and so Janek crossed the line first to take the race win. He was on the top step of the podium but later was disqualified for driving standards, giving Steffi Halm the race victory. The start of race three on Sunday morning, Adam Lashko this time on pole position. He worked his way around the outside of Norbert Kish, but then at turn four, ran wide, and Kish got the inside and dived through into the lead. As Lashko struggled on the outside line, Jochen Hahn moved past him as well, but Kish's race was a short one. At the end of the opening lap, the turbo let go, and he was out of the race and out for the rest of the day. It meant that Jochen Hahn led. Adam Lashko was second, Rene Reiner third, and Gert Korber in fourth. On board with Steffi Halm as she was looking for a way past Yuri Foreman. The MAN went ahead of the Freightliner as up front Jochen Hahn was on target for his 100th career truck racing win. An amazing achievement. The checkered flag and a race win for Jochen Hahn once more on the top step of the podium. The final race of the weekend, again with the finishers in race one, reverse for the top eight on the grid. That put Shane Brereton on a nervous pole position, but Alan Law went ahead on the run to the first corner. Alan had not been on the podium all season, could this be her day? Brereton was tagged sideways by Adam Lashko. Jochen Hahn had to take evasive action. Hahn was on the tail of the Freightliner, as up front, Alan Law continued to lead. But Steffi Halm looked for a way round on the outside. Alan Law would not give an inch, and the two ran side by side. But Law's view was of a blue truck. The MAN of Halm went through on the penultimate lap, 
to take the race lead and then the race win. Alan Law took second, her best finish of the season, with Rene Reinert in third. Three happy drivers on the podium, soaked by the new champion, Jochen Hahn. At the end of the season, Jochen Hahn, the champion for a fourth time, ahead of Adam Lashko and then Rene Reinert. Steffi Halm fourth, ahead of Norbert Kisch, with Anthony Janek sixth.